Hey guys, so Miss Arwen here has had nasal congestion for over a month now and I've been doing everything about it such as um, rubbing her down with baby Vicks, diffusing um, essential oils to help break up that blockage. Um, anyway, nothing has, oh, and no, using a nose Frida on her, but what has happened is she has like, her nose isn't running anymore. It just has those hard boogers, you know, that are way back inside her nose and it, you can't get it out. You can't suction it out because it's just too far back and it's hard anyway. So I didn't want to take her in at all to the doctor because of all this coronavirus stuff. I don't want her around any of that stuff. And I hate going to the doctor. I hate waiting in line. But in any way, she's been getting where she um, like will rub her nose on the blanket or whatever and until her poor little nose is all red because it's hurting her. I don't I guess it's like sinus pressure. She doesn't like when I lay her back. She doesn't like when I put her on her face because that's what she does. She rubs her face on the blankets repeatedly and cries and cries. Anyway, so we I called to make an appointment for her. First of all, I wasn't sure what was going on with her cuz I could just hear that um like breathing. She's like like really you can hear like she's congested, but you can't see anything. So I was like, okay, I'll take her to the ENT, the ear, nose, throat doctor. So I called to try and make an appointment and they said, oh no, we're not taking anyone unless it's like a total emergency. Um, and I was like, okay, to myself, oh, so the fact that the baby can't breathe right isn't an emergency? All right. But basically they said they wouldn't take her because she would be a new patient. So I had to call my primary care. So I called the primary care and first thing they want you to do is, um, after they asked what's going on, she, the nurse was saying, well, now they're doing telehealth, where, which is where they are literally setting up where they send you a link and you open it up in like Skype or Zoom or um, some other... Um, means like that and um then they will literally like virtually check on the baby and I told her well you can't check on her that way because you have to listen to to her to hear what's you know what's going on with her because of the congestion or whatever so that convinced her and she actually signed me up for an appointment today and I, it was like around 11 20 or so when I called her and she's like can you be in at 12 50 so I had to quick, oh, and then she said, and when you come in, um, you got to make sure, well, first of all, you're going to do an online check-in, you know, they usually check us in by iPads or whatever, while you're in the room, you're just filling out the information, but she's like, you have to do an online check-in, they'll send you the link through your phone, and you check in that way, and then, um, well, what was it? What I was? Oh, and then when we got when I got there to the um, place, I had to stay in my car, send a message at, with the code that they sent me to say that I'm here, and then wait ten to fifteen minutes, and they send me back a code, or they send me my room number, and um, then I had to make sure that I had a blanket over Arwen's car seat the entire time. And when I walked up to the door, the door wouldn't open, like the exterior door of the place. I'm like, what's going on? And then this nurse aide or whatever she was came and opened the door and asked if we had a room number. She And she was all garbed up, you know, with her mask and gloves and everything. And I was. So I went in um, and went directly to my room and waited per usual, you know how long it, it always take for us to wait, and had Miss Arwen checked out and everything. Um, long story short, um, they're recommending that she, that I use the baby saline drops on her, and then try to get that to um, soften it up, and then suction, suction her nose out. So, 
and then they also prescribe another one to help to with the swelling go down or whatever um, so I haven't picked it up yet because I was so starving and so hungry and I went through Chick-fil-A and now Chick-fil-A has three lines um, and like I don't even they didn't even make you pull up to the drive through it had three lines and I had to wait by a sign and they ran your food out to you um, what I thought it was kind of strange considering this is a respiratory disease that's going around that they don't had they didn't have mask on but they had gloves that was really weird to me but I'm back home now I'm so glad I'm over this doctor's complicated visit um, even to go out of the building they had to um, somebody had to was when you walk in there was like a nurse sitting right there I don't know what she was writing in her um, iPad and she had you know she was all garbed up she had her sanitizer there and everything and then she was the one that led us out to out of the building so it was quite strange and the parking lot was empty when I got there but basically they're saying they're only taking what they consider essential visits um, so I think they're still might be doing regular appointments though because I did see a thing that said if you're here for a wellness visit go around the back so that part didn't make any sense to me when I had called and said that you know she was sick or whatever and they were just making sure that it was something they wanted her to come in for but anyway that is my story for today and I'm very glad that it wasn't any coronavirus nonsense I didn't think that she had it but you know there's always that fear in the back of your mind um, but I thought I'd tell you guys that so if there's anything similar going on with you guys and you know what the process is right now apparently a lot of the um, companies are now switching to telehealth and that's the way that they're seeing patients if at all